Main event of the evening! Today is going to be my first ever Funko Soda battle, is what I'm gonna call this. And we're gonna do Bebop versus Rocksteady. And I'm really hoping that the winner is like super clear, right? So so what 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 my hopes are is that I pull a chase on one of these guys so that we we obviously know who the winner is. And there's no mistaking, right? But but before we get into this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. Crew. There is no Wayne Co. Crew without you, and I truly appreciate you watching. Now, like I was just saying, today we're going to do a Bebop versus Rocksteady challenge, right? And we're going to see which one of these guys come out on top. And I'm really hoping that we're going to have a very clear winner. And we're just going to kind of get into it and start off with Rocksteady. Now, I happened to pick these up from another company here recently, and I can't really remember their name at this point. But if, if I remember it, I'll, I'll throw a link to their, their page down in the description below. But these guys are going to add to my collection of turtles that I already have. I have a few of these guys already. I don't have a whole lot of them. I want to say that I have Michelangelo, I have Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo and I have Shredder so far. So these are going to add to the villains. And then I'm still going to be missing two of the turtles. I think that I maybe I'm going to search around and see if I can find those guys somewhere. I, I have some ideas as to where I might be able to find them. But I don't know. So we're going to see if we pulled a chase. And before we open this guy we're just gonna kind of take a look at the milk pog and see if that tells us what we've got does 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 that let's see let's see oh and we did not find a chase on this guy so let's get him open and check him out so the first one is not going to be a chase look i'm not super disappointed that it's not a chase you all know that i don't collect these guys for the chase i'm going to add these to my collection if i get a chase that's awesome if i don't get a chase well i mean that's that's also awesome as well that just means that at some point it will come up in a giveaway somewhere right i mean that's that's just all that that means and rocksteady is really cool now i think that maybe they could have did a little bit more with the color of this guy to make him stand out a little bit more than he does it, but I also think that they were being very true to the cartoon, right? I mean, so if we go to the cartoon and we look at him, this is going to be what you would see Rocksteady looking like. He's going to have this whole military style to him. He's got the, the banner. They did a really great job with the paint job. Now, I do see some blemishes right around the teeth where maybe they could have did a little bit better. But at the end of the day, these sodas, for some reason, are always done a little bit better than the pops. Super impressed with this guy. Super impressed with this guy. All right, so now let's pull our first bebop and see if bebop is going to beat rocksteady today see if he see if he gets him on the first one right i mean that's that's going to be the real question does he does he get him on the first one or does he not get him on the first one do do we do we go to the last two and see which one of these guys come out on top now i'm going to kind of add the tops with the same can because I'm not real sure if, if maybe they'll fit different, you know, because of the fact that the cans maybe are, are shaped just a touch different than the other can. But in the event that they are, I'm, I'm going to keep those guys together. Let's see what we have. Do we have a chase? Is he a chase variant? No. Okay, so we also did not pull the chase variant from Bebop. So, like I said, it looks like we're going to come down to the last two and see. And, and if I don't pull a chase, then these guys will e either go on my whatnot. Now, go check me out on whatnot, and I will throw a link to that down in the description below. Now, on the whatnot, it's going to be coming up at the 28th of this month. And at the 28th of this month, I'm going to be doing some kind of a Pokemon unpacking on whatnot. I would really appreciate you guys to come hang out with me on the Pokemon unpacking. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I'm probably going to throw some, some Funkos in there, some Chase Funkos for sale as well. But make sure that, that you come check me out. It, it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. It, it's And we're going to have lots of fun together. This is, look, Bebop is really cool. Now, Bebop was, was always a little different than Rocksteady. He doesn't have, like, the same military style look to him he has this this 90s kid punker style look to him with the whole like earrings in his ear and i mean he, he just he has the whole punker vibe going on they also did a really good job with this guy i don't see any real paint blemishes to talk about 
at the end of the day look this one is done really well the teeth look like they're done a lot better than rocksteady a, the paint job that they did on him is really good and, and that's what i was saying just a second ago i don't know what it is about the sodas versus the pops that seem like they take so much more time on the sodas than they do the pops it's kind of wild if we're being honest and in, into why there's such a difference there but there is i mean there truly truly is a difference there don't really know why but but there is there always has been and there probably just always will be in it and it's kind of crazy if we're being honest and you would think that they've been doing the sodas so much longer than they well the sodas they've been doing the pops so much longer than they've been doing the sodas now we're going to go round two thing round two we're about to go and you can hear the bells and it's all about to go down. So we're going to pull our second rock steady with the hopes that maybe one of these guys at the chase, that way we have a clear winner. Now, if there's no clear winner, I'm probably just gonna call it a tie and we'll go with that. I mean, because I mean, you could then pull like, one price versus another price and see if maybe the other one of them out prices the other one by just a little bit but i that's that's kind of getting crazy at that point right so if there's no clear winner then we're just gonna call it a tie and oh, 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 oh. <laughs> look at that so so far rocksteady threw the first punch so the first blow the first ko is going to go to rocksteady now let's get this guy now this is the first time that i've ever pulled a chase out of the twos like this i mean so this was this was pretty cool and it looks like i'll probably play this again if we're being honest i mean i'm probably gonna play this one again i like this this is a lot of fun now they did a phenomenal job with the black like version of rocksteady he is looking pretty awesome i don't see any real paint blemishes to to deal with and he is exactly the same as the other one the only difference is the paint job and i think that they started doing that on purpose you know because a lot of people started weighing these guys to see if there was a difference and then they would they would pull the chases out based on the weight of them and then they would sell the other ones on ebay it became a huge thing for a while there and so i think to to combat that funko decided that they were only going to change the paint job that way there was no real like weight difference in one soda versus the other soda which would virtually make it impossible to weigh them and then like keep the chases and then sell the other ones to people with a possibility of of getting the chase which to me is pretty deceptive right i mean that's that's almost borderline like crooked right now the battle is going to go to rocksteady so rocksteady's thrown the first punch rocksteady is in it to win it but maybe maybe we're gonna get one from bebop and then we're back to calling it a tie right because then i'm gonna say that there's no clear winner so we're gonna see if we got one of these guys from bebop if i got one of these guys from bebop this video is gonna be epic and then you should probably share it on every one of your social media so that you could see how epic this pull would have been so let's let's see what we got right here i'm gonna also i'm gonna try and keep this one with that one because look every time you're making something there's always a little bit of a difference between one and to the other and so i'm, I'm a little bit of afraid that if if i switch the tops of the cans up one it's not original right i mean that's not the way it came to me two there's a possibility that it, it won't it, it won't fit on there quite like the other one fit on there right so let's see what we got right here do we have a clear winner and we do so the winner is going to go to rocksteady rocksteady won this battle today i mean he took this one down hands down this was this was a lot of fun this this was a lot of fun and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications and become part of the wayne co crew there is no wayne co crew without you and i i truly appreciate you watching until next time have a good one Thank you.